as the snow continues to melt, this only can mean that spring is not too far away. Let's talk about rabbits. All right, everybody, today we are on the homestead by our, ah, smell that, it's delicious, isn't it? I smell Thorin. You smell Thorin? I smell Thorin still. Anyways, today we're over here by the meat rabbits and we're gonna talk about, today you are out here breeding the rabbits. I am. And we're gonna discuss why we have meat rabbits, why they're important, and how they not only feed us, but also they feed our four-legged creatures, Samson right. and Rika. Not you. But anyhow, welcome back to the homestead. Like about it. Okay, so this design, we have this, I built this, oh man, was it two years now? I built this for you a couple right. years ago. Yeah. I went big, y'all. She was like, I see a little simple, humble hutch. I was like, nah, if I'm building it, <laughs> I'm building something miraculously large. And it works well. It's really it big, it works well, but it does need some tuning up and some actually care of the spring. So we hope to do some care of the spring, get them all on grass, which we have that opportunity yes. to do. Right now, you are breeding the male and the female. So let's yes. talk about that. Ready? And switch. Yes. So they're not in their cage yet. So this is Malachi. This is our breeding male. He stays in here. I want to get him moved to a spot where we can do him on the pull tractors. But right now, our females go in the pull tractors. So today, we are warm enough in Michigan that we have moved our female in here with our male. So yeah, depends on when we get grass, when we'll move them out there. Ideally, I like to put the moms out there when they have their babies. And so they're just raised on the dirt in the grass and it just yeah. makes for really healthier babies that way. Yeah. And so I just don't want them jumping out right now. And if you so. notice, we keep them right next to the garden area here. So all the compost comes down in here. We take the bunny, special bunny scat. That's right. And we just throw it all over the garden because that is the best stuff you can put on your garden beds. And we just throw it right out here and it works out perfectly. So that's a and, cool manure so you can throw it right yeah. on your right on your plants immediately. It doesn't have to compost or anything like that. So it works out really great for us. Fast and Take it out, throw it in the garden. Easily manageable. It's right here. You just toss it right in. So come in the next coming months, we'll be able to empty this out, clean this all up, move them, take all the remnants, make a bed out of it right down here. We'll pick a garden bed right here. Guarantee you that, that will thrive well. And we'll take the remnants of it and just scatter it out here. So along that lines, once we get bunny nuggets and they produce in here, we mm -hmm. do not just keep them in here. We like to get them on grass. So right. let's go over. It takes a little bit longer to raise them that way. I'm gonna close this. I'm just nervous they're gonna get out. Yeah. So we're gonna take you over to our little rabbit tractors that we built and show you that. Light, easy, anybody can move it. Nobody, no kids complain about it. We'll check it out. All right, so this is one of my favorite tractors I made this past year because I made it out of two by fours that I cut in half. And we just made it to a nice little square, real easy. Put all the wire inside, I wrap the wire around inside so they can't chew on the boards. And this thing is the lightest thing to move. Anybody can move it. Grayson can move it. Grayson, my son Grayson, four years old, can move this thing. And we have raised lots of meat in it. And we have three tractors. Right now I have one of these. I would rather to replace these two right here because these are more of the meat birds. Quite honestly, they're just heavy. They're, they're just heavy. too heavy. So I like to honestly disassemble these truthfully, disassemble those and redo them to be like this and just use the wiring for that to make them like this. So we have a very light right. setup. So this is literally two by fours cut into two pieces. And maybe this year if we get time, we'll probably show yeah, we'll have a lot of people asking about it. People that have even have come and bought rabbits from us have asked how we did it. Yeah, so I need to yeah. show that because it's literally light enough that a four year old, a tractor that a four year old, ooh, that's a good thumbnail, a rabbit tractor that a four year old could even pull. I like it. I like it. So, what do you tell us more about what do you got to tell us more here about your setup? 
having them on grass, raising them organically, it's good for our family. It's good yeah. for what our nurture does. But also, you feed it to Rika and Sam. It's also I do. We feed our dogs 100% raw. So, obviously, what they're consuming goes into our animals. It goes into our family. So we want to make sure that we feed them the best. So if you're pasture raising them, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to grow, but so worth it. You're getting a lot healthier meat and the grass is free. So win-win in my book. So we put one mom in here, one pregnant mom. She raised her entire litter in here. I mean, it is a lot of space for them, but I feel good about it. I don't want to cram them into tiny little spots. So yeah. I like it. We put one mom in there. We raise them for about, what is it? Eight weeks. A few weeks in there. Eight to ten. We keep them in there. I think it's eight weeks that we keep them in there, and then we move them into a grow-out pen. One of these big ones back here we've been using, we changed it from chickens to now we use it for rabbits, and we keep them there for probably an extra two months, I think is what we've been raising them out at. So that equals about four months. And so, but there was a lot of bunnies in there growing, and so free grass, growing in there, super happy, super sweet little bunnies, and super tasty. They are. They're some really good meat. If you ever have any of recipes that you make rabbits, they're delicious. But I will say this is that, you know, they also get out here, they get to, we move them a few times a day. We move them a few times a day because they pretty much will eat your grass down to and nothing. Mm -hmm. And if you leave them in one spot, so we do move them often and thoroughly. So, yeah, so that's our rabbit setup. And we're looking forward to getting that started. Obviously, the breeding has begun, so... We will be making tractors this year and sharing more on our rabbits in the coming videos. So hit that subscribe button, like the videos. It does help us beat the algorithm. If you made it this far, type in the comments, bunny nuggets, plus whatever else you want to say. We'll see you next time. Peace.